Hi, in this video, I will show you how to generate these iOS buttons using the Kesa AI code editor. We will generate the buttons and the button styles from an image using Kesa. We have 86 buttons in total, so I will make the code available later on GitHub. To get started, let's launch the browser and go to the Kesa website. Over here, you can download it for free. Kesa is just a fork of VS Code, so if you know how to use VS Code, you don't need to learn anything in order to use Kesa. First, you need to download this from here. I have already done that, so let's launch it. Once you launch the app, you can go to the top right and click the settings button to do Kesa specific settings. So we have general settings, like setting up your account. You can enable and disable the large language models you prefer to use. And also, over here you can set up your OpenAI API key. If you use Anthropic, you can set your API key here, or Google. You can also set specific features you prefer to use by going to the features category. Under beta, you can also enable some beta features. Like VS Code, before you can preview Swift files and get centers highlighted, you need to click the extension button on the activity pane. So over here you can see I have searched for Swift. So I have already installed this Swift extension. This extension helps you to work with Swift files in VS Code and Kesa. Let's go to the files tab. I have already created these two Swift files. Once you create an empty Swift file, you can press Command and L to bring the AI chat window. So let's select button types.swift. On the right side, we have the AI chat window. You can drag and drop images into the chat window. So over here, you can see I have this image. So the buttons from the Xcode project were generated from this image. On the top, you can also see we have the current file that is opened. So I dragged and dropped this image onto the chat window and gave this prompt to generate all the 86 iOS buttons using Swift UI. You can click here to specify the model you want to use. Initially, I tried GPT-40, but the result wasn't as good as Cloud 3.5 Sonnet. So I gave this prompt to generate the code from this image into the current file button type.swift. Let's look at the output from the language model. So over here you can see we have the response from the model and it gave this code. Once you generate the code, you can go to the top right and apply it to the current file or you copy the code. You can also ask for changes, like asking for follow-up questions over here in the chat compose area. So the code you see in the AI chat panel is the same as the code you see here. I use the apply button to fill the current file with the code and also copied everything to my Xcode project. So in Xcode, that is this file. So this is the original code you saw in Kesa. I haven't done anything with it. So as you can see from the preview, it didn't generate them perfectly. You can see for the one on the top left, the text is even broken. For some of the buttons, it didn't add the required SF symbols. Also, the original image has some circular buttons like this one. All the circular buttons were not styled in the generated code. But once you have this as a starter file or a boilerplate, you can easily make the changes yourself. So here I just wanted to show you the unedited buttons. I have also created another file. In this file, I have started editing the buttons. So I have already modified the first line and the second line. I'm going to apply SwiftUI's button styles, button control size, and button shapes to modify each of the buttons. I will also add button rows to all the buttons that required rows and share the code on GitHub in another video. So that is all I have for you in this video. You can now start using Kesa to generate Swift code for your SwiftUI projects. Thanks for watching this video.